Hey, Wonder Hussy here, out in the middle of the desert at a place called Lucerne Valley. More specifically, at this random little highway junction uh, where, gosh, I don't even know what road meets California Highway 247. There's this awesome kind of roadhouse at the corner called Cafe 247. And you can see it's uh, one of those places that's just full of interesting stuff. Got some guys selling local honey on the corner there. We've got a bunch of really interesting old cars and rigs parked all around. We'll go check them all out. And there's some really interesting bric-a-brac, a bunch of off-roaders hanging out. It's a big off-roading week here in the desert. I think there's a big festival going on called King of the Hammer or something like that. So there's even more off-roaders than normal in the area. But this cafe, well, it smells amazing because they have this barbecue smoker going on behind me. But aside from how awesome it smells, there's just a lot of really interesting stuff to look at. Let me show you. So first off, you can see there's some dirt bikers that rolled in here and parked their rigs <laughs> next to this burly off-road Camry and this awesome tank. Look at this thing. Gosh, I guess it's built on the chassis of some car just made to look like a tank. <laughs> they use that sight, aluminum siding. You can see, that's pretty funny. Let's see what's inside. It's a little hidey hole we can peek through. Well, this reminds me of one of the art cars at Burning Man. Oh, you can see there's a driver's seat up there. <laughs> and of course, like any good tank worth its salt, it's got a big protuberance on the front and a big old American flag in the back. How about that? Reminds me of Burning Man, but it also reminds me of Wasteland Weekend, that Mad Max festival. You'd see stuff like that there. Anyway, here's a sign for the cafe. You can see they have the typical roadhouse type fare, barbecue, burgers, tri-tip, that kind of stuff, pulled pork, flies, mmm, love them flies. This looks like an old stock car. It's kind of interesting. Oh man, if this was Smell-O-Vision, this friggin' smoker, oh wow. Look at that barbecue, yum. Okay, look at this. This gives new meaning to the word hog. You know, they call Harley's hogs. I guess that's what that's a play on. Ha! Ah, that's cute. That's got the Harley Davidson logo on the top. Oh, and look how cute. It's a frying pan they painted to look like a little desert tortoise. Oh, I love it. How cute. Love this funky yard art type stuff. Wow, this cafe is awesome, man. Unfortunately, it's not quite lunchtime yet, so I wasn't going to go in and eat. But if you're ever in this area, you saw the barbecue, and the prices look pretty reasonable. Okay, well, all these off-road rigs are really interesting. And all this barbecue smells really delicious. But the real reason I stopped here is I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye as I was driving along the highway. And that is Mad Mike Hughes. I don't know if you remember, I made a video a couple of years ago now where I went out to Amboy, California to watch this rocket launch. There's this really well-known flat earther named Mad Mike Hughes who is building his own rocket to launch himself into space so that he can look back down and see for himself if the earth is really flat or not. I made a whole video at one of his failed launches. Unfortunately that day he didn't end up launching because it's actually really dangerous what he's doing. I mean he's got this steam whaler basically that's propelling him. You can see him back over there working on the rocket. Uh, it's, it's a really dangerous undertaking and he's, well, he's got brass balls. So even though he didn't launch, I still made a video and it actually got a lot of views. And in fact, he watched it and we became friends. So now I happen to be driving along with my friend on a camping trip and we saw out of the corner of our eye, Mad Mike's rocket. He's planning another launch. Anyway, as you can see, here's his limo. Mad Mike Hughes, the world's most famous limo driver. And there he is. He's actually having to do some last minute repairs because some drunk idiot hit his rocket while he was towing it. So that's what he's working on right now because I want to make sure everything's in tip top shape. This is the rocket. It's going to launch him up into space. Look at the paint job. Pretty nice. And that's his sponsor, this New Zealand dating website. Dating isn't rocket science. 
anyway, his next launch is actually going to be on the 22nd of February, 2020. Right up the road here, if you take 247 up about, oh, 20 miles or so, you get to this place called the Slash X Cafe. It's another big off-roading campground cafe. Well, somewhere in that area is where his next launch is going to be. So if you have a, a free day on the 22nd and you want to see history being made, <laughs> come on out to the desert. It should be beautiful sunny weather. And you'll be able to see Mad Mike in person launching himself into space. Hey, Mad Mike. I'm so happy I ran into you. So what happened? Somebody hit your rocket? Yeah, actually, we had the, the rocket room display here at 247, one of my sponsors. This is where I do my radio show. We, oh, this is where you do your radio yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. In fact, we did a two-hour show yesterday here. And uh, basically, we, he lives an hour down the road. So Alan followed me in his truck. I'm turning into the driveway. Some guy keeps coming and coming and doesn't stop. Alan gets on the way and the guy hits the back of the rocket launcher. Hit the back of the rocket and, launcher? And, yeah, he'd been drinking. And, uh, oh, drinking and driving. Don't oh, yeah, do it! Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not going to slow you down, right? I mean, it's a simple repair. Well, it's probably a day to two days to, to fix this thing. Because actually, it housed the launch mechanism that launches this thing. And that is lined up perfectly with this bar right here. And this is what launches it. This is the plunger inside the rocket nozzle. Oh, the plunger. That's yeah. inside. See, it's already siliconed up. It's already clamped in there. It's already torqued into place. And it has to be a perfect alignment to pull it four inches and then fork it. Oh, dang. So now this has got to be a perfect alignment. So, so now. It's out, of, it's out of whack. An inch and a half. An inch and a half. Yeah, an inch and a half. Sometimes so. that's all that matters. Yeah. I guess so. Oh, well, listen, Mike, I'm sure we all wish you the best of luck on your launch. And a bunch of us are going to be out there on the 22nd. Yeah, it's going to be a big deal. We're hoping, uh, it looks like maybe TMZ may cover this thing. TMZ, awesome. You heard it here first. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, Mike. Okay, thank you, honey. Bye-bye. Wow, TMZ. Mad Mike has really hit the big time. And you know what? I can't think of a nicer person for it to happen to. And he's actually, like I said, not only is he nice, he's really smart. So you can laugh all you want about him being a flat earther. He's just questioning what he's always been told. And I think that's a healthy characteristic. In fact, kind of reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> Anyways, my friend and I are on a four day trip exploring all kinds of crazy stuff in this corner of the desert. So we're gonna get on our way and I'll catch up with you next time.